please give a warm welcome to Māori Party co-leader and MP for Wairiki, Te Uraroa Flavel. Te Uraroa. Uh, te Uraroa. Welcome to the show. Te Uraroa, Wallace. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now, of course, we've done this every, um, every year we do this. Uh, we get children to, to, to write letters in and say what's on their minds. So are you ready, Te Uraroa, for your, for your letter, for your email? Here it is. It's from Jackson to Awamutu. Do you have to agree with the government all the time, or can you disagree with them sometimes? Yes, you can disagree with the government at, at any time. And is he asking me personally yeah. or our party? Oh, yeah, okay. So our relationship accord says that we can disagree with the government any time we like, and we've proved that in the last couple of weeks right. when I stuffed up with my vote. But be that as it may, <laughs> everything's all right. Everything's all right in the hood. You did stuff up, didn't you? You did I, stuff I did, up with I your vote. I owned it. I owned it. Uh, okay, yes, you did. All right, and will you please give uh, us... Well, the Labour MP, Jacinda Ardern, a rousing welcome, Jacinda. Welcome. welcome to the show. Thank you. And bear in mind, I haven't seen these, so opening up from Sean from Tahuna Nui. Okay, topical. Dear Jacinda, will you be the leader of the Labour Party tomorrow? <laughs> no. Are you no. sure? Yes. Are I'm absolutely you? positive. All right, who will be? David Cunliffe. All right. Oh, is that right? Do you want to talk about it for a we'll little longer? No. We could do the whole show on this okay, if you'd we'll, like. we'll, we'll talk about it a little later. Don't you worry about that. And will you please welcome, will you please welcome uh, the National MP for Waitaki, Jackie Dean. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. Right, Jackie, your, your letter from, oh, Zora, age nine, and it is, Dear Jackie, mm. I'm scared for the Maui dolphins. Will they get oil in their nostrils? Well, uh, no, because no? no Maui dolphins have ever been seen, recorded to have been seen where there has been drilling around the Taranaki coast. <laughs> so in the whole area, <laughs> and all the mining over all the years we've had, there have been yeah. no Maui dolphin there's, sightings. There's, so there's, I'm pretty confident yeah, that there won't be. There's not many left, though, is there? No. That no. Maybe that's a little bit of the reason. Yeah, but how you can't prove, can you, that mining or drilling is harming them when no observer on no boat All right, okay. at any time into has ever seen one. Into the camera, what would you say to Zora? I would say to Zora, Zora, yep, you're right to be concerned about the Maui dolphin. The numbers are getting pretty low, pretty close to extinction. We are doing everything we can to protect their environment. That's enough, thank you. Thank you very much. Beautiful. <laughs> the dolphin. And will you please, will you please welcome... The, I, 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 I can't keep up with what party you're in. What's this coalition <laughs> thing? It's the New Zealand Independent Coalition, a fresh new breeze on the political landscape. A and who, who's the other, who are the other coalition of the willing? Oh, there's some, uh, there's some great people that are going to come Including? Out. Including? Don't worry all about it. We'll talk revealed. about that later. All, all right. will, will be revealed your, soon. Okay, your letter uh, from Abigail Dunedin. <laughs> Dad asked me, Brendan, mm. to ask you if it is better to go for rip-roaring or desirable sticks at the Forbury Park Harness Meet tomorrow. He says that you all know. <laughs> hey, Abigail. I'm glad you're supporting the racing industry. Uh, the racing industry employs over 53,000 people. And, uh, but I wouldn't Abigail have a clue can't, who's racing Abigail there. can't sort of uh, understand that. Briefly, before we get into Damien, um, should David Cunliffe stay or go to Uroa? David Cunliffe stay or go? Hmm. Do you not? No, I'm sorry, I've been on the plane haven't, all day. Haven't you read this? No, haven't I haven't. I've been, memo? I've been at a forestry inquiry. I've been on planes all day, and I just arrived just before the program. All right, so Jacinda, really should, he stay, should he stay or go? I'll brief him later. Oh, yeah, help me. The should answer is stay. All Definitely right. stay. And, and, what has it done for And do you endorse David Cunliffe? Absolutely. You endorse David Cunliffe? Absolutely. Cunliff? Jackie Dean, should he stay or go? He should hold himself to the same standard that he judges others. So and when a, when a politician has to say, I am not lying, well, hello. Or didn't, didn't, Credibility did, Hang on, didn't, didn't he just, unlike Morris Williams, didn't he just actually uh, write an email saying how long the process is going to take? Well, in 2003, and, which and the day before he said, "No, I know nothing well, about on. this man." Tell me, so tell me, his credibility tell me one is person, on the line Tell me here. one person you met in 2003. Oh, I met the local mayors of Waitaki. I met with the police. I met with the clergy. I went into most of the schools. So you know, uh, okay, Breeden, should he stay or go? But we're mounting a bring back Shane campaign. No, oh, I think that's I the see. best idea of your day. Right. Should he stay or go? <laughs> Look, that's up to David Cunliffe and the uh, Labour Party. All right.